Hey, Naughty Tani. Naughty Tani. Just wanted to come on. I'm going to show you guys how you would take something like this amazing piece here that I finished and turn it into a lamp. So obviously it's a lampshade. I'm going to wire this up for actual electricity and it will be a hanging table with a lamp, beautiful macrame lamp above it. Here we go. So I took off these skulls. They were just there for decoration, but I wanted to show you guys. This right here is actually a cougar. And I got this from the fish and game department. So it actually has information on the cougar. It was found in February of 1955. It's a young female, I think that is. <laughs> Shot with a 22. Salmon River, it looks like, by, I can't read that. But anywho, pretty cool. I have a bunch of these skulls that I got from the fish and game department when I taught science, so. All right, I'm gonna grab this thing and get going on this project right here. All right, for this project, you're going to need your light socket and some other pieces of hardware that usually comes with the kit or you can get it on the side. The important thing to remember is you have to get everything wired through your pieces before you attach your um, wires. So this is just has the wires on the end and we're gonna wire it onto this, but after it's attached. So you wanna unscrew that little tiny screw that's on the socket and that will allow this other piece to screw in. And I actually already put this little nut on there. It's on this one. So I'm gonna put this through the bottom and screw that on like that. So if that screw is not out enough, it won't allow this to go on. Okay, once that is screwed in there, you want to tighten this bolt on the top and that will secure that part of your light socket. I can't finish my sentence. So I'm thinking. So you want to get that on there nice and tight with that nut on the top and it's not gonna come out. And then take your cord and your cord is actually going to go through this hole right here and down into where you're gonna wire this up. So place that in. that through so you can see that that is through there this is the hard part because you are working inside the lamp to wire this on and you don't want to make this really long because this part has to snap back in place so we're gonna wire this in by removing this outer piece and the cardboard and you can see that there's a gold screw right here and a silver screw. And it's important that you follow the directions on the wiring kit for what screw goes with which cord. They are slightly different. One cord is marked or it's got something on it that allows you to know that it goes in the silver 
screw. So I'm just pulling apart my wires just a little bit and I'm gonna get ready to wire this up. So you have to tie what's called an underwriter's knot in this wire and it shows you the directions on your wiring kit. So basically it's just to keep this cord from, I guess, getting pulled on inside that socket. So it's basically just twisting them together. And now we're ready to actually attach these. So as per the instructions, I'm finding the neutral conductor. That's the cord that's ribbed. And I don't know if you can see it here, but it has little ridges on it. That's the one that connects to the silver screw on the actual uh, light socket. So when you're connecting to the screw, you wanna unscrew your screw slightly after you've made your conductor's knot. And then you wanna bend this wire just a little bit. And if you have some pliers or something that will help you, these aren't actually pliers, but I'm gonna use them to, these are cutters. I'm just gonna bend my cord a little bit or my wire. So you want the wire to be bent so you can hook it around that little screw. Okay. Okay, so I have my conductor's knot. I actually have some pliers. I'm going to bend this wire a little bit more. Not that way. We need smaller pliers. There we go. So it makes a little, whoops, makes a little hook. That hook is going to go around the silver screw right here. So you want it to go in to where the, the hook is going to the right because when you tighten down that screw, it will not come out. So make sure that that's going the right direction. And if it's not unscrewed enough, where'd my screwdriver go? You can loosen it a little more just so you can get this hooked around. Maybe, come on. Okay, so it's up inside there. I actually want it to be going this direction. And then we're gonna tighten that screw to where that's not coming off. Okay, got one side in. I'm gonna do the same with this other side, making sure I still have my conductor's knot. And this side's going to go to the uh, gold one. So I'm gonna loosen the gold screw a little bit. And I need to get my pliers. Again, bending this one in the correct direction. Make a little hook. And then attach your hook to the gold screw. Make sure you get it up underneath there. It's kind of tricky to get it in there. Come on. All right, once you get it hooked, just go ahead and screw that down. Probably actually did my hook the wrong direction, but it's not going to come off once I tighten this. 
All right, it's attached. So now what you have to do is remember that this is going to go back over the top. Okay, so you wanna tighten this knot so where there's not a lot of wires inside there. Push this little cover back on. Okay, so it's gonna be up inside of the cover. Get your wires up in there. Helps if you do macrame all day to get these knots nice and tight. Okay, so we've got it wired. We've got our end piece attached. I'm gonna pull on this cord here. And all you have to do is push it into the base until it snaps. And that is a functioning lamp, we'll see. I'm gonna put the lamp or the, the light bulb in there. So for light bulbs, um, Definitely you need LED for any kind of macrame project. They don't get hot like normal incandescent light bulbs, which are really hard to find anyway nowadays. And I really love these kind of amber lights and I like the vintage look of those also. I have a couple in here. If you buy them in bulk, it's a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna take it and I already plugged this in. I'm gonna screw this into my socket. Make sure everything's tight. And here we go, it's the moment of truth. Oops, I have to turn on my light. So the socket I used is actually a three-way socket. And if you buy LED for three-way sockets, you can actually have it turn on low, medium, high, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and you can see, obviously I don't want it to hang from this cord. So I'm gonna macrame the whole entire top and go around this cord and that will protect, you don't wanna hang it and pull on that cord. So I'm gonna create a macrame hanging thing, but here is, the light and I'm going to hang it up and show you what it looks like with the bowl back in it. I'm going to hang it from the string. Here we go. Make sure your cords aren't twisted. And that is the finished product. Beautiful. It's really nice if you can find cords that actually have the switch on the cord, like at the bottom, and then you won't have to worry about the switch up in here. Um, or they can, I can leave this light on all the time and just turn it on and off with my wall switch that is attached to this outlet that it's plugged into. All right, happy crafting.